on the 6th of February 1936, a Thursday, the 4th Olympic Winter Games were opened in Garmisch Partenkirchen in Germany. As each delegation of the 28 participating countries marched past Adolf Hitler himself in the opening ceremony, he gave the Nazi salute. Most of the athletes who appeared and walked past him appeared to return the gesture. Although the Nazi salute was confusingly similar to the traditional Olympic salute. The Americans were among those who did not salute. In the meantime, over in Asia, Inner Mongolia, which had declared independence under Te Wang, took the name of Meng Zhang. And Inner Mongolia is the area. Well, in this game, I think it's represented by uh, Meng Kuo, Shangxi, Shibai, Sanma, but it's kind of like this strip along the border with Meng Mongolia here. Maybe it's this strip, but I think it's this upper strip here. And I think probably these um, countries up here are meant to represent various like uh, factions within the independence or more autonomous movements in China. I don't know exactly though, like don't quote me on this. I'm uh, not, a, not a historian and I'm definitely no Chinese historian. And I'm also definitely not really an expert on World War II. So um, yeah. Anyway, in the game, this is a very exciting uh, day because today we get to play a few more hours than usual. And this is because I am uh, from now on uploading at a different time of day. I like to publish uh, these videos at the same time of day that I stop the, 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 the actual in-game counter at. So instead of publishing at one o'clock GM or well, yeah, one, yeah, what would it be? 11 GMT British time. I'm now going to be publishing at noon GMT. So that means we have like 50% uh, more time. And wow, extraordinarily, this is also one of the first days we actually get an in-game event. So let me read this. Italy moves to annex the Sultanate of Aousa. Rumors are swirling that the annexation of the Sultanate of Aousa by Italian forces may be imminent. Italian troops have been seen amassing on the border of the isolated nation and sources indicate that pressure is being exerted diplomatically in Aousa to force a capitulation without bloodshed. It remains to be seen whether Mohamed Yayo can resist the Italian pressure, but the situation does not look promising. How dreadful. Well, our volunteers, which is another exciting thing, are arriving in a mere 23 hours from now. And we get to play a little bit after that as well. Uh, another 11 hours or so. So daytime is coming. Sunrise is arriving in Ethiopia, which is where all our attention is fixed right now. Very nice to see. And now night is falling again. Beautiful. Quite early, actually. Six o'clock or nightfall. Might be a tropical equator thing going on there. And as I said, the two divisions I sent to Italy have now arrived in Italy, which is very exciting for me because I finally get to like actually move some troops around. But other than that, another exciting thing is that we get to go for another 11 hours. So let's have a good look at our volunteers here. We sent the 1st Panzer Division and the 24th Infantry Div Division. Um, the Panzer Division is not a full combat width. Um, we can probably check that out. Yeah, so their combat width is only 12. And the infantry division has a combat width of six, of 18, actually. So 30. So let's take a look at a random tile here and look at the combat width. So the combat width is like 70 here in these hills. And in the lands where we are actually going to be fighting these mountains here, it's only 50. I don't really know what the additional attacks means. Uh, so maybe uh, some of the Hoi4 nerds could uh, inform me more about this subject. But now we have to decide where we're going to move these guys. They're at full organization upon arrival. I think we're going to give them some orders. Uh, a couple days ago I saw that Ethiopia is actually kind of half making a push down here. 
there are a lot of Italian troops here. I think they're going to push these guys back. Although we do not have information about how many units there actually are here. So what I think I'm going to do for now is I'm going to assign them the front line here. This front line. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to assign an offensive line. I'm going to put it something like probably this for now. And what that is going to do is it's as many of you Hoi 4 players already know, of course, it's going to um, create a plan, which means that we're going to get uh, basically a combat bonus uh, as our planning increases for this specific offensive maneuver. Also, these troops are going to automatically start moving towards the border here. I'm kind of excited to see just how quickly they move, because when you play Hoi 4 normally on speed 3 and you just play like years at a time, um, you don't really pay attention to how much they actually move in a single day. So uh, let's unroll the time. We're going to go until noon because that's going to be my new upload time. They are starting to move already. Very slowly. Oh, and another thing I want to check is if I can send volunteers again. And now I can send air volunteers, right? So that means I can get... Uh, let's read this. Send zero divisions. You have two divisions as volunteer forces already, and the maximum limit is two, which is limited by my number of divisions. We will not generate threat. I think... Oh, yeah. Here it says, request permission for up to two of our air wings to join the war as volunteers. So let's send that. Let's hope we get it back uh, today. Oh, yeah. One hour later, we get a memo back from Italy. We are now allowed to send two air wings. Very beautiful. I think we already uh, looked at that before. So, 100 fighters. And we probably also want to send 100 close air support. Because close air support planes, if you don't know, are kind of the planes that like support the troops on the battlefield. So we're going to select these two, which we're doing exercises before. I'm going to turn the exercises off for them. And we're going to send them over here to this airport. There's already 500 planes there. So Italy is probably already doing quite a lot uh, in the way of air support themselves. Let's have a look at the air map. Um, there are 297 Italian fighters active here in Danakil. Over here, there's no planes at all. And in Aden, there are no planes at all either. Either way, I would like to get our planes over there. Um, let's see how far they can get in just these next six hours. Where are they? They're just like right here now. Two hours later. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. So that's the 7th of February done. We're now at noon, 7th of February. Very good. Our planes are somewhere over Czechoslovakia on their way to Ethiopia. And in the meantime, our troops are slowly starting to move towards the border. So that's the situation right now. And now that we have our troops on the field for the first time, also it seems like their organization went to zero, which is kind of shit. But yeah, now that we have our troops on the actual battlefield for the first time, I could really start to use your advice. I mean, I know that I want them here just to get XP and to level up um, their experience level as troops. And also just to help Ethiopia, or no, help Ethiopia lose, I guess, but help Italy win the war against Ethiopia. Um... So yeah, all those reasons are valid. I know all of those, but like how to micro these guys like maximum efficiency and stuff. I don't know all of that. Uh, and I would really like your advice for that. In the meantime, let's just have a quick look at our logistics. It seems like we are doing quite well. We're still missing some planes. We have plenty of convoys, trains, light tanks are building up. Although we have learned also in the past that these are old models that we are stockpiling. We have trucks, we have some guns and shit. It's all going to be good. But yeah, that's it for the 7th of February. See you tomorrow.